Fade out one. Fade in three. Pizza Flicks Television Division presents... Charles Boyer in A Place of His Own. Yes? I, I hate to disturb you, sir, but Miss Agatha wants you to pick up groceries. Uh-huh. Oh, the groceries. I forgot. Thank you for reminding me, Elsie. Oh, Commander. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. Berry. I have your grocery order ready. Oh, not now. I have something important to do. I'll be back for it. Good afternoon. Well, Commander, it's nice to see you. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Now, what can I do for you this wonderful day? It's about a little cottage you have for sale. Oh, the Williams cottage. You know, I thought of you when I put it on the board. I thought, now that's just the place for the Commander. Really? You think it would suit me, eh? Well, there it is. You can see for yourself. It's small, but snug. Yes, indeed. And white. I love white. I suppose it has a garden in the back, too. Oh, yes, and a flagstone terrace. Sounds ideal. How much are they asking for it? Ninety-five hundred. Wonderful buy at that price. And uh, the down payment. And now, let me see. I believe it's fifteen hundred. Or is it a thousand? Wait a minute. Let me check just to be sure. Miss Haney. Yes, sir. Would you get the Williams card on the little cottage? Oh, yes, sir. Just been freshly painted. And there are some nice little areas for planting around the cottage. Mrs. Williams was a great lover of flowers. Of course, I would make some changes in the flower beds. Oh, well, yes, yeah, sure, of course. Thank you. Well, I was way off the track. This is more like it. Yes. You mean uh, the down payment is less? Five hundred dollars. Low enough? Five hundred? That's reasonable. Very reasonable. Well, when you get your finances arranged, why, well, just let me know and we'll start the ball rolling. I hope you don't sell it before I get the money. <laughs> It'll be waiting for you. But, Mr. Bright. Thank you, Miss Haney. Call me up when you're ready and we'll draw up the papers. Thank you. Uh, do you mind if I take this photograph along? Of course not. It might help me with Agatha and my brothers. Well, but keep it. Thank you. You'll hear from me soon. Goodbye, Commander. Mr. Bright, I, I didn't mean to interfere, but it says right here that Mrs. Williams must have at least 2000 down or she can't sell at all. Yeah, I know. You know? But you told him 500 Oh, well. Nothing will come of it, I'm sure. He'll never get his hands on $500. Oh, I forgot you're new here. That was the commander, Claude Lebeau. You'll be seeing quite a bit of him. He was in the war commander of a PT boat, made over half the landings in the Pacific, and then his luck ran out. Hit a mine, blew him sky high. He's never been quite the same since. Are you sure you can make it, Commander? Oh, I'll be fine. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, good morning, Miss Chapman. Say, I have a special on canned goods this morning. It's a disgrace, if you ask me, making an errand boy out of that poor, simple soul. And with all their money, Nothing wrong in that. Gives him something to do. Besides, he enjoys it. How would he know? Always prattling about a house he'll never get. We all have dreams. There's nothing crazy in that. But, Agatha, why hang on to a white elephant? Why don't we sell the mill? And step down? How long do you think we could live on the money it would bring? We'd manage. You were the leading family in this town when I married you. You're going to stay the leading family at any cost. Even to sacrificing Frank? Don't be melodramatic. 
Frank isn't being sold into slavery. He's only getting married. Agatha, may I speak with you? It's very important. Take the groceries to the kitchen. Wait. Claude, what did you want to talk to us about? It's about a house. A place of my own. Yes, Claude, not now. But I've found it. And it's very reasonable. Claude, we'll talk about it later. But I only need $500 for the down payment. Well, Agatha, couldn't we let him have it? It isn't much. <laughs> Claude, sit down. Hmm? Now listen closely and try to understand. Yes, Agatha. Everyone thinks we have a lot of money, Claude. This isn't true. It takes money to keep a fine home like this and to take care of you. Yes, but you wouldn't have to take care of me if I had my own place. I'd like to give you the money, Claude, but I just don't have it. But surely, only $500. Claude, Frank is marrying into a very wealthy family. We need this marriage to keep the mill going. Now, it'll take every cent we have to give Frank the kind of wedding that's expected of a Le Beau. You understand this. It's for the good of everybody. The whole family. You want Frank to be happy, don't you? Oh, yes. I want Frank to be happy. Then, take the groceries into the kitchen. I thought I heard you command this. Here, let me take those. You look tired. I had a busy day. Of course you did. Now, why don't you go up to your room and I'll bring you up a pot of tea right away. Oh, my picture. Uh, Claude, uh, one of these days you'll get a place of your own. You'll see. I promise you. You, you believe me, don't you? Of course. To my brother. Now you listen to me, Agatha. Claude has got to have a place of his own. It's little enough to ask. And who'll take care of him and watch over him? You know he needs us. Why, if he were alone, something dreadful might happen. We can't let him live alone. Yes, I know. After all, he may be harmless now, but who knows what kind of trouble he might get into. Disgrace the whole family. And for a minute, I thought you were worrying about him. Tea, Commander. Oh. Oh, now, isn't that a sweet little house? Spick and span and bright as a new dollar. You have wonderful taste, Mr. Claude. You think so? But then you always did, even when you were... Well. Too bad. What's too bad? I'll never get it. Oh, now, you don't want to talk like that. No, no. That'd be wonderful to me, but they don't understand. They think I'm sick. I'm not sick. It's just that I forget things sometimes. But then everybody forgets things. <laughs> <laughs> Why, only the other day, you forgot where my algebra book was. Algebra? Yes. And it got burnt up with the trash. So I did. But now that Frank is to be married, I should have my own place so that Agatha and Henry can be alone. They should be alone. They'd be much happier by themselves. <laughs> Why is it that to so many people a house is just a lot of wood and paint and nails thrown together for shelter? A house is more than that. It's real and alive and it's warm. A place that understands you when you've been away among those who don't. It's been that way for me here, in this room. I felt it. But then, when I step outside that door, things change. That's the trouble, Elsie. Things always change. Commander. Hmm? Your key. You better drink it while it's still hot. Oh, thank you. Oh, 
Agatha. Go to bed. I'll wait up for Frank. I'll wait. So he missed dinner. He's over 21. If he doesn't want to come home to dinner, that's his business. I know Frank. He's probably drunk somewhere. Making a fool of himself. And of us too. He's drunk. Now listen to me. When the boy comes in, don't jump on him. Somebody has to keep him in line. You won't. After he's married, he'll settle down. Huh. I'd like to see that. What happened? Pull yourself together, Frank. What did you do? I... I just killed a man. Killed? I couldn't help it, I tell you. I couldn't help it. Oh, stop acting like a frightened rabbit. Get hold of yourself. Who was he? I don't know. I never saw him before. Is he dead? Who was he, Frank? I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, then, what are we all upset about? If he was a prowler, you had a right to shoot him. You can't get in trouble for defending your own property. I'll notify the police. Wait. Wasn't a prowler. What do you mean? How do you know? Don't show that him again, man. It makes him nervous. You shouldn't make him nervous. Oh, Claude, sit down. What happened, Frank? What happened? Well, it, it, it was self-defense. He was waiting for me with a gun. I got out of the car and opened the garage door and I saw him. I was scared. I, I ran back to the car and he followed me. I, I grabbed my gun out of the glove compartment. He kept coming at me. I, I don't remember quite what happened. I, I guess I pulled the trigger. I, I saw him fall, then I ran back into the house. You fool. I couldn't help it, I tell you. I, I couldn't help it. It's all right, Frank. Don't worry. I'll take care of everything. It was an old car, anyway. Oh, Lord, for heaven's sake. We have enough trouble without you. Will you please go to bed? Trouble? Agatha's right, Claude. You look tired. Go on up to your room. I'll talk to you in the morning. Everything will be all right. All right, Frank. Tell us the truth. Why was he waiting for you with a gun? I owed him some money. I thought you said you didn't know him. I don't. I met him tonight in a poker game. And you didn't know who he was? No. He was a stranger. He just drifted into the game. I'd lost a lot of money. I guess I should have quit. But he raised the stakes so high that... Well, I thought I could beat him and get even. I lost. He wouldn't take my IOU and we had a fight about it. I ran out on him. But I, I didn't mean to keep on. If this gets out, it'll ruin us. There won't be any wedding. We'll lose the mill. If he pleads self-defense, if he says he thought he was a brawler... You're not going to let this get to trial. But I can't prevent it. There aren't three men in this whole town, let alone 12, would have any sympathy for Frank. They'd be only too happy to see him behind bars. But there isn't anything we can do about it. Oh, yes, there is. Frank, hmm? sit up. Listen to me. At the poker game, did any of those men know the man you killed? I don't know. I, I don't think so. You say he was a stranger from out of town. I guess so. What are you getting at? No one could have heard that shot way out here. If the body weren't discovered... Agatha, are you mad? 
A man can't just drop out of sight. He has to turn up, dead or alive. Oh, there is only one way out. Give yourself up, Frank. Plead self-defense. I won't have him plead anything. I won't have him arrested. He's got to get married. Nothing must happen to him. You mean happen to the mill. It's always the mill. Well, I'm sick to death of the mill. Frank, you can't walk out. Wait. Let him go. Let him sleep it off. Oh, Frank. Leave me alone. A labo mixed up in a killing. Oh, it's terrible. A terrible scandal. There must be some way. Oh. Claude. I'll go right back, Herbert. I, I, I just came down for a glass of milk. No, come in the parlor and sit down. I'm glad you came down. There is a great deal of trouble in the family tonight. We must all be kind to each other. Oh, I want to be kind, Agatha. You are. You always are. Sometimes I'm cross with you. You mustn't mind that. You see, Frank is in trouble. Yes, I know. He broke his car. No. No? He killed a man. Frank? But he's too young to have a gun. I know. The police are going to be very angry with him when they find it out. He killed a man. And he used this gun. Agatha, no. He shot a man. With that gun. You understand guns. You're careful with them. You know guns. You always did. Yes. Yes, I was in the war. I was an officer, you know. I know how to handle a gun. In a war, a man's gun is his best friend. He must take care of it. He must keep it clean. Keep it oiled. Keep it dry. No matter how tired you are, no matter how badly you need sleep, clean your gun. Because tomorrow, your life may depend on it. Frank's life depends on it. Frank is not in the war. Just the same, he killed a man. He doesn't know about guns. But you do. You're an officer. You're responsible. Yes. That's the worst of it. When the men need you and you can't help them, that's when it's bad. Frank needs you. He's one of your men. You can help him, Claude. Agatha, please. Claude wants to help Frank, don't you? Frank is in trouble. But he won't be if you tell them you did it. You've killed a man before. You know what it's like. You were in the war. The police won't be angry with you. You'll do it, won't you, Claude? Won't you? I killed a lot of men in the war. A lot of men. This is Claude Lobo. Please send someone for me. I have just killed a man. Oh, Commander, don't let them do this to you. Oh, Elsie, I'm glad you've come. I'll be away a while. I don't know what I'll need, but you can send my things. But Mr. Frank is the one that did it. Why should you shield him? But I always protect Frank. He's my brother. 
Why, at school, if anybody fights with him, I fight with them. You don't go to school now. Now, that was a long time ago. Now, why does everybody always say it was a long time ago? Why, it wasn't... It was only... It was only the other day. It isn't right for you to do this, Commander. Mr. Frank is a grown man. Let him take the responsibility. You don't understand, Elsie. I've always taken care of Frank. I'm older. I understand better about responsibility. And Mr. Henry is older than you. Then why shouldn't he take the blame? He's a married man, Elsie. Besides, what does he know about shooting a man? He was not in the war. The people in town love Claude. The worst they'll do to him is put him in a sanitarium. He'll enjoy it. The flowers and the gardens. He won't lack for anything. My brother in an institution. Would you rather have your other brother in a penitentiary? The commander called a little while ago. Good evening, officer. Evening, commander. Well, we can go. I'll get my hat and coat. And no, 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 Henry. Uh, I can take care of everything. You uh, said you killed a man. That's right. And uh, where's the body? The body? By the garage. He shot in self-defense. Isn't that true, Henry? It was self-defense. Yes, self-defense. You'd better put your coat on, Commander. There's a chill in the air. Oh, thank you, officer. All right, I'm ready. What? What? He's gone. Elsie told me. Oh, we're quite a family, aren't we? It was the only thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Claude was expendable. It was the only thing, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Say, are you the commander? That's right. What can I do for you, young man? I went up to the big house to see you. But they said you didn't live there anymore. That you were here. How long you been here? Oh, I don't remember. I've lost track of time since I've been here. I can't get over it. Imagine shooting down a real honest to goodness gangster. Now, now, look here. Don't go thinking it's a good thing to do. Killing a man is not a good thing to do, ever. Remember that. Yeah, but killing a gangster. Gee. Well, it wasn't like that at all. That is not quite. It was my family that worked things out. Your family? Sure. They knew all the time who the dead man was, that he was a gangster, that he was wanted by the FBI for killing a policeman, and especially that there was a $10,000 reward from the bank. Uh, it's not everybody that has a family like mine. Imagine. They let me take the credit for the killing so that I could collect the reward. They did? Why? Well, you see, they knew how much I wanted a place of my own. That's why. Commander, lunch is ready. Oh, good. You'll have to excuse me, old man. I'm furnished. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Four Star Playhouse and all the members of the Singer organization, thank you for being with us this evening. We hope you enjoyed our play, and we hope that you'll be with us again next week. Good night. <laughs>